Those are the advantages from Alvaro Bautista over the last two laps. On lap six, he was able to pull back three tenths of a second. On lap seven, he was able to pull back three tenths of a second. He's now only three tenths of a second away from top rack Raz Gatlioglu. We ride on board with Alvaro Bautista as he flashes through with only three laps remaining. Raz Gatlioglu tried this pass yesterday on Bautista to retain track position. He slid off into the gravel, but 24 hours later, he's found his way back through. Bautista now with the sprint advantage in towards turn 10, and now it's the infield section where Raz Gatlioglu can defend that place. It was into turn 10 that Bautista made the move on Jonathan Ray yesterday. Ray said that was because he missed a gear shift. But uh, clearly for top rack, that's not the issue on the run in 10. It's all about that back straight. You saw just how far back Bautista was able to come from. But fair play to top rack. He's digging in as much as he can to try and hold on to that race lead. Full commitment from Raz Gatlioglu because that's the move he tried yesterday on the dusty, sandy part of the circuit that went wrong. He lost the uh, grip he needed to stay upright and went out of the race and cost himself 24 championship points. He's not thinking about the championship in this race. He's thinking about gunning for victory. It's a quarter of a second between Raz Gatlioglu and Bautista with two laps to go. Yeah, and uh, you can see now for Alvaro, he doesn't have to think too much about Jonathan Ray, despite the fact that Ray's have the gap from three seconds to a second and a half between himself and the race leader. There's still that time to make up on Alvaro Bautista, but if Toprak's able to just cling on to this for a little bit longer, Ray might feel that there's half a chance being brought back into play, but with only a lap and a half to go, it's probably too much time to make up. 1.2 seconds now, the gap Bautista to Ray, but uh, the gap to Toprak, Raz Gatlioglu, largely static at this stage, like Bautista dropping back slightly from Raz Gatlioglu, but he's even closer this time around. Bautista surely will be through again in towards turn eight. He flashed past into turn eight on lap number eight. He's going to do the same on lap ten. Can Raz Gatlioglu again immediately respond? Bautista through to lead the Super Bowl race here in San Juan. Raz Gatlioglu can't get alongside this time. Bautista's gone defensive through turn eight and through turn nine. Now Raz Gatlioglu must immediately respond into turn ten before Bautista can escape away. Raz Gatlioglu will dive bomb Bautista. He will not allow the number 19 Ducati to run clear through the infield section, but he's overcooked it. Bautista now is through and Toprak surely is going to be defeated here by Alvaro Bautista. Wait for turn 15. Let's see if Toprak's able to try something into the penultimate corner. Bautista then has track position. First time he's led through that infield section. Second time he's successfully made the pass on Toprak, Raz Gatlioglu, and he defends it through 15. Now he's going to have the advantage down that uh, start finish straight. It's over 500 metres meters the run towards turn number one. We know though how strong Raz Gatlioglu is on the brakes. Final run through that heavy braking zone. Five seconds on the brakes in towards turn one and Raz Gatlioglu capitalizes on all of them to find his way past Bautista. And while these two are scrapping it out, Jonathan Ray has just set a new fastest lap of the race at one minute 37.277. Ray wants to join the party. Yeah, who doesn't love seeing this at the front of the field? Top right giving it everything he can to try and keep himself at the front of the field on that Yamaha. Bautista's going to be on under pressure from Ray if he can clear uh, top rack at this stage as well. But onto the back straight, we saw it last time round. Bautista was trying to make sure he was in the right position to defend the to defend the lead. Once he takes it, he's going to do the same on this lap. Three laps in a row now. Bautista has been tucked onto the tail of top rack Raz Gatlioglu coming down the back straight. But this is the closest he's yet been. He sweeps across the path of Raz Gatlioglu in towards turn eight. Raz Gatlioglu almost thinks about a move back down the inside. He's going to try it again into turn nine. The pair almost touch. Watch for Ray. Jonathan Ray with an opportunity here as they run now down towards turn 10. Bata Yamaha delighted, Bautista relegated to second position and Jonathan Ray wasn't too far behind from catching Bautista by surprise there. This is where we saw Ray make a move on Bassani in yesterday's race. Is he going to be able to try something on Alvaro Bautista as well? Maybe a bit too far back. Alvaro Bautista too, slipping back from top rack, Raz Gatlioglu. Bautista was unbeatable in race one here yesterday. It was through turns eight and nine that Raz Gatlioglu came unstuck. His mastery of those corners here today has seen him twice hit the front after Bautista's overtakes down the back straight. And Raz Gatlioglu now is accelerating away, looking to end that uh, winning streak here in San Juan for Alvaro Bautista. Top rack, Raz Gatlioglu takes one of the most hard fought victories you will ever see in the Superbike world. World Championship. Bautista is relegated to second place. Jonathan Ray takes third, but he was only eight tenths of a second away from Raz Gatlioglu at the checkered flag. Rinaldi holds off lows in the latter stages. Lekawona having dropped down to sixth position, but he will still feature on the second row of the grid for race two this afternoon. Axel Vasani with seventh position and Chabi Vierke holding on despite that softest choice of tyre ahead of Loris Baz and Andrea Locatelli just a tenth of a second outside of those points paying position.